Hi, I'm going to show you how to tune vocals using flex pitch, which is a built-in feature of Logic Pro. I have an example vocal clip here. First, we're going to go to the editor and turn on flex. Logic will analyze the file. And now we're going to turn this tab to flex pitch. If we scroll down, we should see the pitches that Logic found in this file. There they are. These blocks represent the different notes that the singer was singing. Let's have a quick listen to part of it. Paint me a forest out there. All right. So the first thing that you can do is change the pitch of these notes by dragging the note vertically. Paint me a forest. So this note is now one note higher. We went from an E to an F. Uh, you can also move the note um, and change the timing by dragging left or right. So if we wanted to make this later, we would go to the right. This. Uh, Vocal, by the way, was not recorded with a metronome. It was from a live recording, so the notes won't be lining up with the grid. Paint me a forest out there. You can also resize a note, make it longer or shorter by dragging at the start or end of one of these clips. So we just made this one a little bit longer. Paint me a forest. There. You can also split a note. Let's use a different piece as an example. Tell me it's all ours. So this ours, if you want to make that two notes, you can go to the scissor tool by going T on your keyboard and pressing I for scissor or going up here and selecting scissors tool. And you can split the note at any point and now you have two different uh, clips that you can move. So you can, uh, you can grab this and maybe move this one up here and take a listen. Tell me it's all ours, how dare. If you want to recombine these two notes, uh, you can do the opposite of the scissor using the glue tool. Select both and then click inside. And now they're recombined. Now let's look at editing the parameters of a note using what Apple calls hotspots. When you select a note, you'll see these six circles around the note. To edit the pitch drift, which is how the uh, note begins or ends, use the top left circle. You can raise this up to have the note begin from a higher pitch or lower it down to have it sweep up from a lower pitch. Let's hear it sweeping up. Dare I? And the opposite, we go back to the pitch drift in the top left, and let's have it come down. Dare I? And you can do the same thing with the ending of the note using the top right circle. So if we wanted to sweep down and then up, we would do this. Dare Sounds terrible, but hopefully it helps you understand how these functions work. So let's put this back for now uh, and look at another function. These waves are the natural vibrato of the singer's voice. This control in the bottom center affects the vibrato. <laughs> if you want to accentuate the uh, waviness of this voice, you can raise the vibrato up. Uh, I'm really exaggerated it here, so it's going to sound pretty extreme. You can hear that oh. um, And you can also reduce it and make it more machine-like. Um, for example, uh, if we bring this down to an even, let's go to an extreme and put it on zero. Of course, you wouldn't be doing this in reality. Uh, you <laughs> hopefully be tasteful, but if you wanted it to sound like a machine, you put these all on zero. And we have no vibrato at all. Uh, and we can also 
select all these and set them to perfect pitch. So this is going to be uh, exactly centered. Okay, and uh, I'm going to bring the pitch drift down on this one because we changed that and I didn't put it perfectly back. So let's see what that sounds like. Maybe we have this pitch drift. Yeah. How dare I? So now she sounds like a machine. Um, what do the other circles do? Well, if we look at the uh, lower left, we have a gain. So if we wanted how dare and we wanted I to be very loud, we can raise that one up a few decibels, and it's going to make this really stand out. How dare I? Okay, actually, <laughs> it wasn't as loud as I thought compared to the rest of it. How dare oh, interestingly, it's bringing them all up, and that's because I have them all selected. Um, so what I meant to do is put back was just select this one. And that also uh, shows you, yes, you can also you can edit multiple notes at the same time just by selecting multiple notes. How dare I Great. So now you have control over the volume of each individual note using this gain hotspot. So to uh, let's look at another section of this. Um, to control the pitch, if you want to fine tune the pitch, say you just want this one slightly lower because it looks a tiny bit sharp there, uh, you can use the center top hotspot. And you can just very carefully bring it down. It's important to use your ear while doing this and listen. Uh, you have the option to set to perfect pitch, but that's going to average this whole thing out. And with some instruments, that works great. With the human voice, I think it's a little better to maybe use that as a reference, but ultimately be doing it by ear. Out there. There's also a formant shift, which is going to affect the harmonic characteristics of the voice. Uh, if you raise it up, it'll sound a little more nasal. Um, people describe lowering it as sounding maybe a little um, more masculine. Out there. So that's raising the format up. Let's lower it down. Out there. Let's go to the extreme so you can hear. Out there. So it's the same pitch, but very different characteristic uh, based on how the harmonics are changed. Out there. Lastly, I want to show you how you can uh, quantitize the pitches that you have. So you have a few notes here. If you're going right, sounds fair. And in this example, they're all in A minor, which is the key of the song. Uh, but if you uh, had moved things around and you weren't sure exactly where to put them or if the singer wasn't completely in tune, and you wanted to have something, this is going to be different now because I've moved it all, uh, but still in A minor, you can do a scale quantitize, which is down here. You turn this on to A minor, and you'll see the notes all jump, and it's picking the closest note to the pitch uh, that is in the A minor scale. If you're going right. Sounds fair. So, um, and lastly, if you want to select all of the notes of a certain pitch in the song, you can do that using the uh, piano roll on the side. So if I wanted to select all the C's at once, you can click here, and they'll all be highlighted. And if you wanted, for example, to turn all the C's into B's, I could drag them all down to B at once. Now, every C in the song has become a B. I hope this is helpful to you. Let me know if you have any questions. <laughs>